Hello, I was going to YouTube, one only x here. Today, I like to go over mountain riding, mountain road riding, because there's a lot of different people that like to carve canyons. It's a blast, it's scenic, beautiful, but it's dangerous. And you see a lot of people on YouTube that rip up the mountain in full gear, some, some not in full gear, and they are damn near dragging me, or they are dragging me. And uh, to me, that's too much. <laughs> One, it's a public road. You're way speeding, obviously. And two, the biggest reason why I would never do that is you're fully committed in that turn. There's not a lot of options for you when going around a turn like that on your knee. The reality is, you see all these bicyclists, you see these cars pull off the side of the road, other vehicles will give cars like that a berth that they really don't need because they just want to be safe. That's all fine and good, but you're going into the other lane. So if you're on one knee, you're trying to hit the apex of a turn, that means you and the truck that just went over, this, like this truck in front of me going over the median, or over the freaking center line means that you're head on into this big ass truck that's a bad day man so my tip one my, my number one tip do not fully commit to a turn and by that I mean knee down hard in you're taking that line and that's all you're gonna do like this knees not down one I'm not in leathers and two it's against public road but the other reason why you don't want to take the turn full tilt and not give yourself options, there's debris in the road. What happens then? Ride at a pace that's fun and comfortable to you. Don't push it if you don't need to. Well, you don't need to. It's not a fucking race. But still have fun. There's, there's a level in which you still have fun. There's points where I will definitely get up on it, but my vision is more so than what another spot would be. The next point, next tip with riding is a lot of these turns are blind turns. And what that means is that you don't actually see the other side of it until you get completely around it. In that instance like this, you will start wide and slowly, slowly bring it back down to where you consider the apex, but you really shouldn't be clipping apexes on a public road. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. For blind turns, you want to start wide and move in. And I've gone back and forth this with uh, actual MSF instructors because they'd rather you start by the side of the road. That way if someone comes in your lane, you can be over already. Uh, the reason why I don't like starting over all the way is I don't believe it gives you any more or less time than you normally would have. And honestly, I think it gives you less space. Actually, I know it gives you less space. Because if another driver sees that there's an open road in front of them, they're going to continue onto it. They're going to continue to follow that path of least resistance. Whereas, if you're close to that line, it's going to scare them, and they're going to want to come back. They're going to want to get back in their lane. There's, for the most part, that's how drivers are going to do. Their vision is going to see that, and then they're going to react a certain way, and they're going to come back to, to normal. Alrighty. So, mountain riding. One of the biggest things that's going to keep you safe is vision. Knowing how to position yourself to be able to see the most of whatever road, whatever part of the road is coming up to you. Like this turn up that's coming up here is a very technical blind turn. None of these people are going to move. See how it goes over the line? It's dangerous. That's why you want to be able to see from the, from the line over. Because 
these jackasses don't know how to drive, they don't know how to take turns, and they will endanger your life at every moment. You have to think that way. Mud running can be a blast. Uh, not when you're behind a bunch of slow cars or vans, but it is a blast. Especially when you've got a road this nice, you know. But vision is huge. You gotta, your situation and kind of the road and everything else is really going to dictate where you put your bike to start with. Like this turn is a very long sweeping turn. We still can't see the exit yet. So I want to come down until right about here because now you can actually see down the road. And it's all about vision. So when you guys ride the mountain, be safe, ride your own ride. Understand the road conditions because like around here you have falling rocks and stuff. If it rains, there's a lot of debris on the road. Just kind of just really, really get a feel for it. Maybe do a pass up once slowly to make sure there's no debris anywhere before you actually decide to rip rip. Um, and honestly, just, just have fun. You have to understand that if you do decide to go well over speed limit that you have a high risk of getting pulled over. It's with anywhere. But they're more strict on a mountain like this because it's dangerous. It's dangerous for a lot of other people. Jimmy Jam. There's always a spot on most mountain roads that people love. This road's got, I don't see a bunch of them. But for me, this one is definitely my baby. She's sweeping, she's technical, she's got some good speed points. But I usually don't hit it until after this spot because motherfuckers like to go around bikers here, people like to pull out. my most favorite section of this whole mountain road. Just the way the road's real smooth, the bank's just right, the turns are just right, there's no real traffic right there. You can see every 
same thing coming. There's really no blindness to it till that last turn there. It's just fantastic. It's gonna settle down as you roll by the congested area of this spot because people will pull out from there and run into you. Uh. I'm not a fan of going down it. I feel it's better suited for driving out of corners. Where when you come down it, you're kind of managing gravity <laughs> and engine braking a lot. section of road. I mean this whole mountain's fantastic. All, a lot of mountains are really good, you know. This is why you stay wide around turns because of stuff like this. around that blind turn hauling and you end up in the back no, don't pull over okay fine yeah we'll calm down anyways you all have a good one you like the content hit the like button subscribe leave some comments how do you guys ride the mountain how do you guys like to ride the mountain? Later! <laughs>